Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's topic is uh, anti-malarial drugs. See, some students, they are writing the, this thing, uh, the what I have shown on that uh, slide. See, malarial, anti-malarial drugs are used to kill the mosquito. Like that, they are writing in the examination, some students. Uh, but keep in your mind, my dear students, anti-malarial drugs are used to kill the malaria parasite. Malaria parasite, not uh, used to kill the mosquitoes. Keep in your mind. Very, very important uh, thing. You are missing the total concept. Students are missing the total concept. So, anti-malarial drugs are used to treat the malaria. Anti-malarial drugs used to kill the malarial parasite. Keep in your mind. So, okay. Uh, see, uh, here you can see the definition. These are the drugs used for the prophylaxis, avoiding. Prophylaxis means that to avoid treatment and also for the treatment and also for the prevention of the uh, relapses of the malaria. This is the definition. You have to write in the examination compulsory without fail. Don't write that uh, uh, we are using anti-malarial drugs are used to kill the mosquito and don't draw the, this type of diagram in the examination, right? See, if you see the malarial parasite life cycle, it is different. It is a very different malarial life, malaria, malarial parasite life cycle. It requires the human being as well as it requires the malaria. 50% of malarial parasite life cycle was there in the human. 50% of the life cycle of the malarial parasite is also happened in the mosquito. So 50% life cycle human being, 50% life cycle in the mosquito. So both if you together, if you combine together, then only there is a one complete life cycle of the malarial parasite. Very, very important slide. And it was appeared in many examination, regular, competitive, in all the examination. See here, 50%, if you divide this diagram, this is the human being. You can see here, human being. So this is a malarial parasite uh, human life cycle. Whereas this side, malarial parasite mosquito life cycle, this is a 50% cycle and this is 50% cycle. If you combine together, then total one complete life cycle thing. So it starts here. See here. When the mosquito give a kiss to the human beings, now what happened due to that kiss? Sporozoites will enter into the liver. See, in the human being also, liver is also there. Parasite attacks on liver and also parasite, it enters into the blood also. So liver as well as the blood. Keep in your mind, my dear students, liver and the blood. So whenever the mosquito kisses you, sporozoites of which are present in the mosquito will enter into the liver cell, your liver cell. So these sporozoites are uh, it multiplied in the liver and it is converted into merozoites. Very, very important bit. In which part of the body sporozoites are converted into merozoites. Very important. Oh, in the liver cell, okay? And then it enters into the blood. That's why this is called as a erythrocyte stage. Erythrocyte means blood that you know very well. Whereas this part is called as a pre-erythrocyte before the blood, pre, pre-paid, post-paid, the same fashion here, here also. Pre-erythrocyte stage, this is a post, this is not post, erythrocyte stage. Okay, so liver cell, uh, sporozoites converted into merozoites in the liver and this merozoites is converted into gametocytes, gametocytes in the erythrocytes, the schigoni, it converted into schigoni in the blood, it converts into gametocytes. So whenever mosquito bites, these gametocytes will be suck up, suck up along with the blood will be enter into the uh, mosquito. So uh, this gametocytes, converted into gametes, zygote, wukinate, wucyst, sporozoites. Finally, the sporozoites, when the mosquito, same mosquito will bites you, the same thing will happen. See, anti-malarial drugs used to kill this part only, not this part. Because we are giving an anti-malarial drug to the human being. So it kills the sporozoites, it kills the merozoites, it kills the schigoni, it kills the gametocytes, very, very important bits, but it doesn't take gametes, zygote, we are not giving the malarial drug to the mosquito, we are not giving. That's why anti-malarial drugs are uh, classified 
they are like this here erythrocyte schizentocyte see here type of anti malarial drug erythrocyte schizentocyte it kills the erythre erythrocytic schizogony here and tissue schizocyte pre erythrocytic stage exo outside the exo erythrocytic stage also it kills the gametocytes which kills the gametes that is a gamete not gametes gametocytes which these are the gametocytes which are, which kills the gametocytes which are present in the blood there okay right so all anti malarial drugs are classified into three categories very very important one okay see this is my uh, mobile app you can be download it from the google play store after downloading it you go to the store option here store see the below store option here i offer all material whatever i presented you in front of you same things is available in the form of a pdf it is nothing but a notes same you can be write in the examination you will get a distinction not distinction you will get a more than uh, 90% 95% no doubt about it okay and this is my youtube channel you go to the playlist option in my youtube channel there i have arranged all my explanation videos okay in the form of a uh, playlist in the playlist subject wise the subject if you enter again you will get a topic wise each subject if you click on you will get a topic wise this is about your syllabus here you can see the anti malarial drugs see totally this malarial parasite are five types 1 2 3 4 5 5 malarial causative see malarial causative species plasmodium falciparum is the most common most dangerous keep in your mind remaining are not much important only this plasmodium falciparum plasmodium malariae ovale vivax all these are the less important this is a most common most dangerous you have to focus on that sometimes mix also happen like mixed pickle lemon pickle mango pickle and uh, chicken pickle if you mix all together you will get a mixed pickle okay sometimes mixed malaria also comes when more than two parasites two species will occur will attack you and if you see the chess queen is the number one even king also waste in the chess king also waste. doesn't have much power king only one step any side one step king whereas a queen uh, number one it is having all the powers all the powers queen so that's why queen is powerful here also in the anti malarial drugs if you see the classification as per the pharmacology of tripathi book uh, queen keep in your mind my dear student queen is a highlight here four amino quinoline see here queen quinoline four amino quinolone a uh, chloroquine amino queen like that like that uh, pi uh, piper queen queen means queen kills the malaria queen kills the uh, Uh, malarial parasite see queen four amino quinoline completed and now see eight amino quinoline see four amino quinoline eight amino quinoline prima queen tefano queen and quinolone all queen 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 quinolone methalone mefa queen and cinchona alkaloid quinine quinidine and uh, biguanide okay proguanil and uh, all these you can be classified and the important one all these are very very important keep in your mind my sir names classification very very important in all competitive examination if you want to read the full fledged pharmacology only four is enough 1 2 3 4 okay sesquiterpene lactones quinidine quinine chloroquine these four are very very important for not more than that in your regular examination in competitive examination this slide is very very Uh, important <clears throat> see i have already told you all these are some of the comparison properties of anti malarial drugs all these are the anti malarial drugs see pre erythrocyte erythrocytic phase i have already told you chloroquine has having a activity on erythrocytic phase i have already shown in the diagram <coughs> so it kills the schizocytes okay see here plus plus like that you can be there. almost all acts on erythrocytic phase only pre erythrocytic no drug is having action except the primaquine that's why primaquine is very very important keep in your mind only one bit from primaquine only one bit primaquine is only drug which acts on erythrocytic phase okay right and remaining and all not much important more toxic are the quinine very very toxic toxic grading very toxic highly toxic this point is important 
here primaquine is important that's it and chloroquine if you see chloroquine here you can see the chloroquine phosphate tablet it is available in the form of phosphate it is available in the form of a, a tablets doses forms available is a tablets iv injections don't give im injection very very important point because it results in the local tissue toxicity healthy tissues will be die whenever you will give a chloroquine phosphate don't give im injection directly you give to the blood so erythrocytes is a schizonotocide it kills the schigogamy it acts on erythrocytic erythrocytic which parasite is present in the blood no effect on hepatic stage okay does not kills the gametocytes also rapidly acting this is very rapid it controls the clinical attack in 1 to 2 days okay uh, it controls the clinical in 2 days malaria symptoms will be gone disappearance of the parasite from the blood okay it will be happen in 1 to 3 days mechanism of action see here mechanism of action generally hemoglobin consists of we know that a globin uh, is globin in the hemoglobin in our hemoglobin not the mosquito uh, in our hemoglobin globin is utilized by the malarial parasite to grow it okay so heme will be retained this heme is highly toxic for malaria parasite malaria parasite utilizes the globin whereas a heme is a very dangerous for that malarial parasite so our body converts the heme into hem hem hemojoin hemojoin this is generally it is a non toxic for the parasite now what happen our chloroquine drug quinine drug and mefloquine all will uh, avoids the system so this heme will be retained like that so this is very toxic for the malaria parasite so that it kills very easy very easy schematic diagram and pharmacokinetic oral absorption is very excellent absorption 50% protein binding it is uh, metabolized partly by the liver slowly it is uh, excreted in the urine adverse drug reaction it is a uh, low toxic it can be given to pregnancy also very safe in pregnancy no abortifacient no teratogenic effect nausea vomiting are common in most of the drugs and see chloroquine see here chloroquine cq should not be a co administered with the uh mefloquine amitarone and other anti arrhythmic drugs very very important one very very so this is anti arrhythmic drugs that's why i given a band symbol don't use anti arrhythmic drugs and quinine and quinidine is obtained from cinchona alkaloids see quinine and quinidine we will see this is very interesting one it is a levo rotatory alkaloid it is a alkaloid it is a levo rotatory it is a bitter and it is a irritant and it is obtained from the cinchona bark okay quinidine is an optical isomer of the quinine very 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 important quinidine is a optical isomer of the quinine quinidine is a d isomer it is used for anti arrhythmic drugs in some countries it is also used for the treatment of malaria very very important one quinidine d anti arrhythmic drug same mechanical action as that of the chloroquine no change in that quinine is erythrocyte i have already told you erythrocyte is schizonotocide most of the drugs are erythrocytic except the prima quin quinine has a no effect on pre erythrocytic stage it kills the py wax okay it is less effective and more toxic than the chloroquine these are the other actions this is also very good it shows the other actions also some are good some are bad okay it causes aversion whereas it is uh, very very uh, friendly for bp patients and also friendly for sugar patient this is sugar patients and this is a uh, uh, rapid iv injection fall in the bp rapid fall in the sugar level decreases the skeletal muscle fiber ca uh, contractile power very important bit appeared in number of uh, question paper it is a weak analgesic weak and oral route nausea vomiting injections uh, okay cause injection will cause is a pain or local necrosis uh, it is also having anesthetic effect it is a local irritant uh, all these are very very important in your competitive examination synchronism if you are using a it is it is excessive ingestion of the synchona bark if you are taking synchona bark it leads to synchronism what is this synchronism mild nausea headache viral tinnitus nausea vomiting headache mental confusion diarrhea fusion marked all these are the synchronism fever tachyphonia respiratory depression okay toxicity of quinine is high and dose related uh, it is 8 to 10 grams taken in the single may be fatal and uh, see here uh, very important one china we are always holding the china for coronavirus coronavirus but it is having a excellent plant 
artemisin 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 na artemisin is a active principle obtained from this plant this plant grow in the china artemisin annua it is a part of chinese traditional medicine also known as a quigosu uh, so it is a it is a sesquiterpene terpene you can see it's the same thing in the alkaloids i have told you this is important it is a active part of <coughs> it is active against the plasmodium falciparum which is which is resistant to all malaria this plasmodium falciparum is very resistant to uh, all anti malarial drugs have got resistance uh, uh, this this one but however this drug kills the plasmodium falciparum very important one so uh, if you are giving all the drugs to malaria is not decreasing doctor is giving a drug malaria is not decreasing okay now what happened the doctor has to give this one artemisin this is a final weapon even though all the drugs are not working this artemisin compulsory it works all the stages of erythroscygony potent and rapid blood schizentoscide very powerful very very important and thanks to china you have to say in this concept na corona is very dangerous uh, see this is a arti artisunate injection alpha beta artiter meter see here meter ether sunate arti 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 all are available injection you can see the mosquito also here mosquito uh, very important uh, one mechanism action artemisin active this is mechanism of action damage of parasite protein see here it damages the parasite of protein is low clearance artemisin resistance parasite keep in your mind right most of the drugs uh, will kill if the drug gets resistance to all the drugs then you give a last weapon artemisin okay right so this is treatment for the uncomplicated malaria simple malaria plasmodium vivax plasmodium falciparum mixed infection mixed pickle like that mixed infection this is a treatment and this is a treatment for severe malaria very severe in some patients severe malaria and uh, in pregnancy this is a treatment uh, schedule okay so i will end my session here